So the other day I was making breakfast, cooking some eggs, and every time I put the eggs down on the stove, they'd roll away. And that's kind of normal because this particular boat uh, lists to the left. That means it leans to the to the left side. It's normal. It's just the way the boat's designed. A lot of uh, or owners early on put lead bars inside the starboard side engine room to kind of balance out the boat. This boat has that, but it still doesn't really, it still does list a little bit to the left. So I didn't think anything of it. When we went out to Willis Island the other day on the backup plan, coming in, I noticed the boat was really leaning a little bit more than I've seen it lean before. And, but I know that we have that extra fuel tank on the other side and it's empty. So still didn't think anything of it. Then I started hearing this beeping upstairs. It's a sound I've never heard before. So I went up there to investigate. All my electro electronics were off. So didn't really know what it was. And then all of a sudden, ding! I thought maybe I should start checking for water. So I came over here and looked in the port side engine room and this is what I found. I don't know if you can tell, but there's water in there. Come back here. It's pretty much flooded back here too. So the first thing I did was I came up here to the port engine room bilge pump switch. It's on auto, so I switched it over to manual and it wasn't doing anything. You can see on these other ones how they all light up when you put it on manual. That's what this is supposed to do and it's not doing it. So it seems to me like there's no electricity getting to here. So I'm going to go back over to the panel and on the panel there is a breaker right here for port side bilge and so I flipped it and reset it and I still don't get anything over here so right now I'm gonna pull this panel off and see if I'm getting electricity to there because I don't know what else to do I know it's getting power here I know that the breaker is providing power to the wire so now, as far as I know, this is going to go there. I don't know, but that, that, the pump is 24 volts and this is 34 volts. So I don't know where it gets converted. So I'm going to look for something else now. I'm going to move this helm back because there's electronics underneath there. Also the back side of the switch. This is the switch right here. And all the wires look fine. See a light? Oh! See that? See that? Light came on. See that? Now the question is why is that light going on and off? Oh, something I'm pushing on over here. That means something's loose. I just gotta figure out what it is. But right now it's on. That means that thing's pumping. So that just means the wire's loose. Look at that. It's working right now. It means there's a loose wire. Now, you would think that, okay, it's working, leave it alone, but the problem is I don't want it to do it again. So I need to diagnose and see what the problem is. Look at that. Boat's sinking, taking on water, just because a little wire or something's loose, and I can't figure out what the wire is. But I will. I will figure it out. All right, so that light on means that that pump should be pumping. Now, I don't know if it's just that there's so much water in there that you can't tell, but it doesn't look like it's going down. So I got a spare pump here because you should always get, carry a spare pump and flow switch on board, which I do. And I'm going to touch the wires with this pump and see if this pump turns on. That'll at least let me know if there's the electricity coming down here. So I already exposed the wires. 
so I'm just going to touch the right wires and should have some action. And we do. So that means there's electricity going there. I just don't know if the, it doesn't seem like the pumps are turning on. So it turns out the pump isn't really working as well as it should. So it's pretty much dying and, or dead. And uh, I, I thought I was prepared by having an extra bilge pump, but this is a 12 volt bilge pump, which works great in that room because it's on 12 volt, but this room's on 32 volt. So I gotta go find another pump. All right. I just called Hopkins, Car Hopkins Carter and they have a bilge pump in stock. So we're gonna go over there and pick it up. Let's go. couple places in town that I like. El Capitan because they have everything I want, but at Hopkins Carter they have everything I need. Just a little bit of oil, just to top things off. <laughs> top off its gallons. We just got the new bilge pump. There it is. 32 volts. And we're going to stick that in there. And this will be lickety split. So, as you can see, bilge is as empty as it's going to get. That's it. That's about as dry as the bilge gets. And, uh, see ya!